Okay guys, welcome back. So last week we rebuilt the 3D printer arms and worked on the ball joints. This week we're gonna make a hot end. So stick around, check it out. Okay, you can see here's the old mount for the hot end and this is the new one. Uh, this actually allows the hot end to mount much further up, uh, which brings the fans above the rods. That's gonna help us uh, reduce the play quite a bit. All right, one of the things we're gonna have to change on this new design uh, you can see the bottom of this has some vents. This is where the fans get plugged in uh, to cool the part as it's printing. And it's got a nice little cowl here that is supposed to go on like that. But there really isn't quite enough room uh, for space around this hot end. We are gonna make a new hot end and we're gonna do something pretty special for that. Check it out. All right, so in most 3D printers, you use a hot end like this. This is a heater core. They work pretty well, they're reliable, and they're cheap, um, but the form factor I've never liked much. That's why you see all of these heater blocks are square. This slides in through there and heats up the aluminum, uh, which makes this kind of chunky, uh, and it also doesn't, uh, it's not very good for uniformity for the heat around the nozzle, which is the most important part. I'm gonna use this stuff. This is nichrome wire. So it occurs to me while I'm editing this that a lot of you probably don't know what nichrome wire is. So here's Ryan for a quick explanation. And a cat. Nichrome, as in nickel chromium. Whatever power you put into that, it comes out almost entirely as heat. And the stuff doesn't melt until about uh, 2250 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so I've got a little piece of it here just to kind of demonstrate like what this stuff is good for. Uh, wrapped around a little piece of fuse and, uh, well, here you go. Yeah, I think that probably illustrates it. Now the only problem is we need to figure out how much heat we need to make, how much actual energy we need to put into the thing. We know that what we want is 40 watts. And we know that our power supply is putting out 12 volts. Now we just need two equations and kind of to stick them together. And then you need to know the power conversion, which is... All right, so what we're gonna do is take this and put it into this. So we've got our equation. All we've gotta do is plug these things in, right? 12 volts times 12 volts over resistance, which is this little omega symbol, is equal to 40 watts. Ohms is equal to 144 over 40, 3.6 ohms. Now we need to find ourselves a length of wire that comes out to about that resistance. The longer that it is, the more resistance it gives you. So, well, I got a little bit of it right here. This meter, we already got it set to ohms. And uh, let's see about what we get. Well, that's lucky. So the only problem is there's no way this is going to wrap around the hot end. But there's another way to change the resistance of the wire. If it's thinner, it's higher resistance. So if I had a piece about like that, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll get lucky on that too. Yeah, look at that. We can wrap that around the hot end. We should come up with about 40 watts. All right, enough math. Uh, back to Mike. I'm gonna take this aluminum bolt, uh, drill a hole through the center for the heat break, and wrap the nichrome wire around it. The only part that's tricky about this, nichrome is conductive and so is the aluminum. And so you need an insulated path for that uh, wire to wrap. So we're gonna wrap some Kapton tape around this, uh, which is pretty special stuff. It's, uh, it's very heat resistant. Let's machine this part.
This is probably gonna be the hardest part. Okay, well, we're abusing our powers having a thermal camera on hand, uh, but we've got it, we're gonna use it. So let's try and heat up this hot end. This is the hot end here. I told it to start heating and it's instantly hot, wow. Okay, that is pretty cool. All right, turning it on now. The thermal brake works brilliantly. I'm obviously holding on to this right now. <laughs> yep, we have reached the limit of this thermal camera, which unfortunately that's only 54C. Sorry guys, we don't have a better thermal camera. <laughs> yes, yeah, if you want to donate to the channel, <laughs> link in the description. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And you can see we're getting a lot less flex out of it. There's almost no play in those ball joints now. We're still getting just a little bit of flex back and forth, and that's actually coming from the frame itself, which we're gonna try and take care of a little bit when we build the enclosure in the next episode. But for now, let's watch this thing print, and we'll see you on the next one.